Yo, what's up, peoples? I'm going to be bringing you a TBT mech guide opener because hey, people wanted a um, people want the guides, and I'm this is day two or video two of the of my YouTube guide series. So we're just gonna speed through a replay real quick, guys. And um, there's so much actually to learn and teach you guys about how to play mech. And I know that people want advanced guides, so we're going to go over a replay that I played from stream today against this guy, Diablo Fito. I don't know who this is, just some <sighs> typical NA Terran, so you can expect random aggro nonsense. But I'm going to show you guys a build that I like, um, and, and we'll look at it from my perspective. We'll just be on my vision. So you can see it. I scout him. I go for Reaper Expand. We make sure that he doesn't have a... We make sure that he puts down his command center. I think I mentioned this when I was actually playing the game on stream. Make sure he puts down his CC so that we know he doesn't have a proxy barracks. Because th that's the nice thing about the mirror matchup in TBT. You, if you know if he does this, then he can't have other buildings because you're doing it at the exact same timing. The only way he could have another barracks is if he cut three SCVs or something like insane, which is net. That's I don't think that's even possible even then. The timings are just too command center up too close command. but anyways guys so this is my double cyclone double factory cyclone offensive sensor tower rush opener i guess you could call it a sensor tower rush so i'm going to build two reapers and as you can see here i'm getting just normal build order i don't know if uh, if you guys really um see this is the thing with guides guys you guys want me I, the first guide I made was about hotkeys. It was um, just, you know, the intro guide on, on you know, what, what I hotkey my units and what you guys could do. But, for example, this guide will be a little bit more advanced. But it's a good way to play Mac. I think anybody at any rank could do this build. The better your micro is, the better two factory opener is going to be for you. I will say that. So... I'm going to build um, a Hellion first, Tech Lab on the Barracks. You have to build the Hellion before you build um, anything else. You don't want to build a Tech Lab on this. You want to build it, um, build a Tech Lab on your Barracks while the Hellion's building. I actually, I did it a little differently this game. Usually I would lift the factory onto the Tech Lab, but I guess I didn't build the Tech Lab, so we're doing it this way. But anyways, the point is, now we're going to have two Cyclones producing with the range upgrade, third gas, and so the main setup is... Two factories, three gas, constant SCV production, constant depot production. You float your barracks across the map for vision. And here is what you're going to pick off units, guys. The whole point of this opener is we're going to pick off units with the cyclones. That is, And we're going to build an offensive sensor tower so that we don't have to scan 800 times. That's the other key thing. Now, I designed this build. I, I think I'm the only person that does this build. Maybe there's some... I don't know if anyone else on North America even does this. I, I'm probably the only Terran player that does this on NA. Even, well, in the world, actually. I don't think anybody does this. Base. <laughs> but basically, I designed this build um, with the offensive sensor tower at the front of their base so that you can... Because every Terran... Well, to be honest, I designed this as a counter to my own build. I'm the guy that came up with the mass... Like, the the double, triple Raven opener, where you build more than one Raven in the opener, and everybody loves that opener. So I came up with this as a kind of a kind of a counter to that, because you can use the Cyclones to pick off the Ravens, ideally, or pick off tanks, to, or Marines. You're just basically picking off units in the opener, and you're, re you're relying on the fact that he can't kill me, because he's going for Ravens, or he's going for Vikings, so we know that the opposing player can't kill me. So, and obviously I'm not going to run up the ramp. We, we know he has a tank there. <clears throat> We're going to use the barracks for vision. And again, I'm not going to worry. There's no need. The, the whole point of this build, guys, is to contain, pick off the ravens, pick off vikings, pick off, pick off anything. Anything you can with the cyclones. Anything you can. You lock onto them, pick them off. And again, the sensor tower gives vision. So with the sensor tower, I can... I, you know, again, I'm not a map hacker, guys, and I and hopefully you guys that are watching this aren't either. So since we're all legitimate players, we can't predict, we can't see through the fog of war when where he has his tanks and when he's moving forward. But the sensor tower fixes that. The the Avalo offensive sensor tower, sensor tower rushu, whatever you want to call it, 
fixes that. That is what this provides. For 100 gas, we're saving scans, and we're going to be able to pick off units, because then we'll know when to scan. Then when, when we do need to scan, we'll know, okay, we can get vision with the scan, because, so here I scan, because I saw, I saw units moving on the sensor tower, and I'm going to try and pick off two Vikings. I lock onto them, take one tank shot. I got one Viking, the other is really low health. Looks like you're going to repair it. But the build is working. You need more supply depot. And so now, we're going to go up to five factories. I'm, I'm actually going to go up to five, zero starport, five fact. And so, what is the next step, guys, for this? What is This is truly, truly, I believe, the only quote-unquote mech, mech opener. The only real factory-based mech opener that exists in StarCraft II is this, this type of opener. What, it's one of them. There's very few. Uh, most openers involve a starport for Ravens, BC, Banshee, whatever, um, Viking, Liberators. But this opener is truly... Now, I'm going to be pumping out Siege... I'm actually going Quadruple Tech Lab. That's right. You heard me right. It seems weird, but we're going to crank out so many Siege tanks off of four gas. Zero Vikings, all tanks, and we're going to try and keep the Cyclones alive. So we won't have any problems against the Liberator. If he if he built one, it's not an issue. So the main thing, the opening game Cyclones to pick off units, missile turrets to defend our main, like a lot of turrets. All, all of our minerals is going to go in a turret instead of Hellions with this opener. And then we're going to pump all our gas into siege tanks for now. You can build a reactor on your fifth factory. Or you don't, e you don't even have to put an add-on if you want. This Cyclone just picked off two Vikings. I microed it to take out two Vikings. And again, we're keeping track on the minimap, so watch this. So I'm not, I'm not greedy here. I got a tank. Picked off. I picked off a tank, and then I back off. So again, and you also you do want to you want to make him work for this. You like when he's pushing out, you want to make him work for this. You don't just want to let him walk. Every time he moves, you want to try and pick off units with a cyclone. You have to be careful though, because uh, a lot of these players will try and bait you. Uh, they'll keep their tanks uh, sieged, and then they'll move some units forward to try and... You don't want to overextend with your Cyclones either. Ready. <laughs> so again, I'm just, picking, I'm just picking off stuff for free. Meanwhile, I've landed my third, and now I'm building tanks four at a time. Is under attack. Getting the armory. And uh, yeah, Get, I have a nice turret ring in my base. Scanning again. Now, see, here's the thing. Now I don't have a sensor tower. Maybe I should. You can even build another backup one here if you want to, in the center of the map. But now I have to actually like keep track and not. I don't want to lose these cyclones for free. And I, I scanned again because I wanted to see if he was going to inch forward to try and pick off more units. But now, guys, again, we're cranking out tanks four at a time. Trying to do a little heli and rest it. Like you can see, the production that I'm building four tanks. This guy has double reactor Vikings. I didn't even know that during the game, but the great thing about this is he can't kill me. My supply is like actually like really strong supply. It's all like, I literally, this is the weirdest. It is one of the weirdest openers that I've come up with, but it's like, it's basically a pure siege tank opener um, after the initial early game Cyclones. And all of the gas that would normally be in the Raven and the Vikings is in tanks. And, and as you're going to see here in a moment, guys, again, I, I highly recommend this build. Once you're saturated, once you're around 140 supply, you're going to hear this a lot when I do these, re these commentaries. Once you're around 140, 140 supply is the magic mech number. I've always said this against Protoss. It's, it's the number where, like, you, you can do stuff. Like, you can move out against Protoss. And against Terran, it's the number where you actually want to throw down your starports, like, around that supply. Um, you can see I'm at 140, and now I'm building four starports, and we're going to react to them all. Um, so now that, we're, now that we're situated, now we're going to actually... We're not going to play stubborn. I could... You know, you, you could play stubborn and just mass, mass factory, but that's a risky way to play in general. You can. It's stylistic. But with this... We're going to open with the huge tank production into Vikings. So now we're going to have quadruple uh, reactor starports. I'm building eight Vikings at a time. Research. Literally eight Vikings. Some fire here. And you can see in the units tab, 
I'm gonna, we'll catch back up in Vikings, like, the rest of my money is, I'm pretty much just building Vikings and filling out the rest of my supply with Vikings. So I have, my army is really strong, like, I have a really, really strong supply. And, um, yeah. So, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, the rest of the game, I don't know how many of you guys saw this game on stream. The rest of the game is about meticulous positioning. You know, picking off units, uh, good unit composition. Also, Vikings are really good in TBT. <clears throat> and yeah, setting up tank lines. You can see engagements like this. We're both sieging up, and then he's gonna try and see. He's gonna try and siege a liberator on my tank line to get me to engage. And I have a Thor underneath underneath my Vikings to help out. And then it's mostly about patience here. So. Just being patient, not overextending. You can see I have 17 Vikings, it's 24, so we're about even in most aspects of the game, but I have a better economy. I was being greedy, taking bases, but yeah, guys, this is pretty much the opener. This is my my uh, two-factory cyclone sensor tower rush in, into um, five-factory, into later into the late starports, the, the late the late Vic the late mass Viking uh, transition. And then from here, you can you can just go into a normal tank Viking age. From here, it's just about not going, taking good engagements, being patient, I'm actually getting orbitals. But you guys get the idea. So I was able to play a nice game off of the off the mass factory opener. He lost a lot of Vikings to the Thor shot there. And uh, you can see I actually engaged. Because I realized I'm like, oh wait, like I kill, I, I did, I did a lot of damage to his Vikings, and we're both at 200 supply. So now the game is gonna become who gets a better 200 supply. I even added on four more starports just for Raven production. So I, ha I have literally four starports cranking out Ravens, and I'm building Vikings, and now it's tank Viking Raven. So it's like the next, you know, the next level of late game TVT. So uh, there you go guys, I hope you, we're gonna just watch the last fights here, because this is not the important part, like, yes, I'll make another guide on how to actually micro your mech army here, um, against his and, and whatnot, but this was just, uh, you know, a TBT uh, two factory cyclone mech opener, uh, sensor tile rush opener, and I believe, again, you'll get the most out of this opener if you, um, my, if you micro and pay attention really good, and it's going to depend on your skill level. In the lower leagues, you might actually kill the opponent with a cyclone sometimes, but it all depends. It's a good it's a good way to learn the game. It's a good way to learn how to play match. And I think, uh, I think this is a valuable, like, mech TBT opener to have in your guys' arsenal. You know, instead of just... Especially, too, sometimes people get bored of the Raven opener. Me, personally, the reason I don't use the Raven opener every single TVT is because I got bored of it, like... And also, if everybody does it, then you get an advantage if you can, if you metagame it a little bit. But yeah, um... Also, I like this, though. I feel like this opener is really good. It's... It's a very unorthodox opener that... will, uh... allow you to play a mech game. So you can see, like, at this point, I just have so many Vikings that I can just walk across the map and kill them. And that is, uh, that is the game. So there you go, guys. I hope this, uh, TBT tutorial has helped you out. The, the, the best thing I, the, the, the number one thing I can say here is about this opener, two factory cyclone into five factory four tank production into the macro out of those five factories up until around 140-ish supply. Once you're unsaturated on three bases with your fourth going down and whatnot, then you can throw down like four or five starports and start converting. You can even make Hellions out of your factories at that point. As long as you have kept all of your tanks alive, you can start making only Hellions out of your factories and save all your gas for Ravens and, and mass Viking production. Um, and you can play out the game like that. Uh, maybe in the next mech guide, maybe I'll, uh, 
I'll play like a mass mass factory game where I just literally I just go full ape mode, full Terran, you know, Super Saiyan. We'll we'll do another one where I'll do one where I go like maybe like almost maybe I'll build like one starport or something like for Liberator Harass or whatever. Or, but yeah, I'll do one. I'll do um I'll do like an eight factory like mass macro mech um, style at some point. I'll probably maybe I'll even try it on stream tomorrow. Um, but there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the guide. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so this is uh, this is the TVT sensor to Avalo sensor tower rush TVT double cyclone uh, opener into tank Viking. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like on the video. Leave comments. Uh, this is video two in my in my YouTube guide series, and uh, this is the first uh, one to teach you guys how to play mech. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys later. Peace out, peoples. I will see you later.